Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, here it comes. With the apple and the honey and the challah crumbs. There's the tzimus and the brisket and a lot of wine. Yeah, we're eating and we're smiling and we're feeling fine. Big l'chaim for my uncle and we guzzle down the schnapps. Yeah, the stuff tastes pretty good and I'm pulling out the stops. My cousin says, hey, boozy gal, you're gonna get so shika. Just like her uncle Irvin does, he tells me with a snicker. My sister, she is single and she walks into the room. And my aunt says, baby, when you gonna find yourself a groom? My grandma's saying, sweetie, wipe the schmutz right off your face. And the baby's throwing honey cake all over the whole place. Rosh Hashanah, yo. Have a happy new year. My father says a drusha and my mom starts to snore. And grandpa says that that's because my dad's a great big bore. The fish head's staring at me like we're all kind of odd. But today is Rosh Hashanah and we give our thanks to God. Rosh Hashanah with the family. But hey, what can I say? There's a lesson here we all can learn from this special day. If your family makes each other mad each time you're together, you can see despite this fact you still all love each other. Now how do you think you'd learn this if you weren't forced together? For endless meals and prayers and stuff in each Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, sure, it may be stressful, but Yom Kippur's not too far. And now you've got a lot of things to say I'm sorry for. Rosh Hashanah, yo. Have a happy new year.